measures to control acid rain, reducing the amount of sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen. Scientists have devised a variety of methods for reducing the quantity of sulfur dioxide generated by coal-fired power plants. One alternative is to use coal with lower sulfur content. Another technique is to wash the coal in order to remove some sulfur. Scrubbers, which remove sulfur dioxide from gases leaving the smokestack, can be installed at the power plant. Because nitrogen oxides are produced during the combustion of coal and other fossil fuels, some power plants are altering their coal burning processes. Cleaner cars, automobiles and trucks are key polluting sources that generate acid rain. While a single car does not emit a lot of pollution, when all of the cars on the road are joined together, it produces a lot of pollution. As a result, automakers must limit the number of nitrogen oxides and other pollutants generated by new vehicles. A catalytic converter is such a type of technology used in automobiles. This piece of equipment has been used to minimize the number of nitrogen oxides generated by automobiles for over 20 years. Cleaner fuels, such as natural gas, are also available in certain new cars. Low emission automobiles are those that emit fewer pollutants and are therefore better for the environment. Flue gas desulfurization, flue gas desulfurization, FGD, is a set of technologies for removing sulfur dioxide, SO2, from fossil fuel power. Plant exhaust flue gases, as well as other sulfur oxide producing processes like waste incineration. Most FGD systems have two stages, one for removing fly ash and another for removing SO2. The removal of both fly ash and SO2 in a single scrubbing vessel has been attempted. Thus these systems greatly help in reducing the SO2 emissions. Liming. Liming is the process of applying calcium and magnesium rich materials, such as marl, chalk, limestone, burnt lime, or hydrated lime, in various forms. These elements, in general, react as a base in acid soils and neutralize acidity. Consequently, in stream liming, the addition of fine particles lime or other buffering minerals directly to a stream or river waters, enables immediate acid neutralization and thus an immediate increase in water pH. Thus liming can be employed, reducing acid rain. Alternative energy source. Producing energy without the use of fossil fuels is an excellent approach to preventing acid rain. People can instead use renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. Because they produce far less pollution, renewable energy sources aid in the reduction of acid rain. These energy sources can also be utilized to generate electricity and power machinery. Energy conservation. Energy conservation. The most important step in preventing acid rain is to reduce overall energy consumption. This can be accomplished simply by shutting off laptops and televisions that aren't in use while leaving the room. The home's heating and cooling system is another significant energy taker. This can also be reduced by using them only in need. Preferring public and alternate transportation means. Preferring public and alternate transportation means. Since automobiles are a major source of acid rain pollution, it is critical to discover other forms of transportation in order to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. You may help reduce motor emissions by taking public transportation, carpooling, biking, or even walking. When at all possible, avoid driving. Alternative energy sources stopping the use of non renewable fuels and switching to renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and water energy is a good strategy to reduce acid rain. Alternative energies will become increasingly available to the general people as technology advances. To help the environment, consider solar-powered heating systems and battery-powered autos. Thank you.